Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Ponamun Supri Praj, Kacharja Stotra, Sri Srimad, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Shami Raj, Prabhupada Ki Jai. Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda ki jai, Nama Charjda Srila Haridas Thakur ki jai, Prem Sakaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Shadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gokopinath, Sham Kunda Radha Kuni Giri Govardhan ki jai, Vrindavan Tham ki jai, Navadip Tham ki jai, Jagannath Puri ki jai, Kanga Mahi ki jai, Jamana Mahi ki jai, Tulsi Devi ki jai, Bhakti Devi ki jai, Samaveta Bhakta Brinda ki jai. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Gaur Pimnande. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Ekendra Prabhu, for the nice kirtan. And thank you, dear devotees, for joining as we kick off our week with a very beautiful spiritual note uh, on these prayers in the, in the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So to, 
today is Monday and tomorrow Tuesday is Ekadashi here in this part of the world so uh, uh, Ekadashi is being celebrated uh, I think in the northeast of the US uh, on Tuesday so we celebrate by increasing our spiritual activities and decreasing the eating and sleeping and so on and we fast from grains and beans so today's verse uh, Maharaj just said it's 2 4 16 Although Vijay Krishna Prabhu insists that it is 2 4 15 so uh, whichever one that may be I can go there but as always please feel free to participate and you can raise your hand if you want to say something or you can put it in the chat box thank you Hare Krishna Thank you, Madam Gopal Prabhu. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. I think Vijaya Krishna is right, to tell you the truth. And why should he not be right? Om Ajnana Timirantasya Gyananjana Shalakaya. Chakshun Militam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Pistam Stapitam Jaina Bhu today Swayam Rupa Koda Mayam Dadhati Shapadantikam Bande Hang Shri Guru Shri Jutapadakamalam Shri Gunun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Shagrasatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitam Stam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Shahagana Dadita Sri Vishakan Vitamstra He Krishna Kuruna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostite Tapta Kamshana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavane Shri Prishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hori Priye Vansha Kolpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindho Pyevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namonava Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you all for taking part this evening. Obeisances and respects to all. It's getting harder and harder to see who's, I guess for me, to see who's, who's here. I do see Kamalini and Apurva and Purusharta Prabhu obeisances thank you and i hope i can say something useful this section of srimad bhagavatam uh, as we noted srila Prabhupada himself uh, chanted these these prayers and the his chanting was recorded by gargamuni in 1967 68 and we have that that recording and as we read, we'll see how relevant these prayers are to Srila Prabhupada's mission uh, in, in the West, particularly. The, we were reading uh, before about his, his uh, well, context here is that Prikshit Maharaj has asked Sukadeva Goswami to describe the process of creation of this material world. And Sukadeva Goswami begins by offering his respects to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, his prayers to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Bhagavatam is full of prayers, practically everything throughout the Bhagavatam. There's pastimes and in each pastime there's, there's prayers throughout the Bhagavatam prayers expressing the realizations of the great devotees. So here we have the prayers of Sukadeva Goswami. And now he comes to this point. Yad kirtanam, yad smaranam, yad ikshanam, yad vandanam, yad 
uh, Shravanam Yad ar Arhanam Lokasya Sadyo Vidanoti Kalmasam Tasmai Shupadra Shravase Namo Namaha. This um, Yat means him, that, that supreme personality of Godhead, uh, Yat, about whom, uh, whose really, um, yes, whose, uh, whose Krishna's. So Yat Kirtanam, Kirtanam, chanting about him, Yat Smaranam, remembering him, Yat Ikshanam, uh, seeing him, Yad Vandanam, offering prayers to him. Yad Shravanam, hearing about him. Yad Arhanam, worshiping him. Uh, these are the methods uh, by which Lokasya Sadhyo Vidinoti Kalmasham. These methods can purify uh, the people in general. Uh, or Prabhupada says, Lokasya, all people. Uh, and how long will it take? Sadhya, uh, right away, quickly. Sadhya uh, Pananti what is that? Pananti Upasprish, yes, in the first canto it said that the um, Ganges will slowly purify the heart, but the association of devotees will quickly purify the heart. Sadyu punantu pas prishta svardun yapo nishevanat. Yes, svardun yapo nishevanat. By the mm, purification, by the power of the Ganges, one can be gradually purified, but by the association of devotees, one can be quickly purified. And how is that? Uh, yad kirtanam, yad smaranam, yad ikshanam, in the association of devotees. This is what goes on. There's hearing about Krishna, there's chanting about Krishna, there's um, yeah, yes, also uh, the sadhyas are, 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 are coming in. Well, first let me complete that thought, that by, by the association of devotees, where our life is sustained in hearing and chanting. The outsiders, the non-devotees, they don't want to hear about Krishna. They don't want to chant about Krishna. They don't want to worship Krishna. But the devotees have enthusiasm for all of these things. So we're advised to uh, get uh, sadhu sangha, uh, to get sadhu, lava matra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hoy. Um, seek out that sadhu sangha and for the innocent, give them all of these things also, so that they can also get sadhu sangha. Then we've gotten several comments. Let's catch them. Uh, also, Kendra says, Tata sadhya vimuchieta yad vibeti svayam vayam. That um, very um, uh, quickly one can be liberated. Sadhyo Hridya Avarudyate Trakriti B, Shu 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 B, Madan Gopal quotes. So the, the process of devotional service compared to uh, Bahunam Janmanamante, uh, Gyan, uh, cultivating knowledge, uh, speculative knowledge, birth after birth, what to speak of gradual elevation by hmm, pious activities, karma kanda. Uh, this method is so uh, efficacious by association of devotees and ch chanting and hearing and glorifying and remembering and praying to the Lord. Virunoti, uh, lokasya sadhya virunoti kalmasham. This will free the heart, cleanse the heart of kalmasha. Kalmasha means. Uh, the dirty things in the heart, sinful reactions in the heart. This is our, our problem, that our hearts are, uh, what's the word, uh, tainted, our, our hearts are damaged by, uh, you, know, you, you know, like a, a, a drain that, that has gunk in it or anything that's 
adulterated or blocked, our hearts are afflicted by sinful reactions. Uh, what is that? Uh, that's manifested as calm, crowed, loba, mada, moha, matsarja. So therefore we want to become freed from sinful reactions, from the sinful things within the heart so that we can be restored to our natural position, pure position. So that's all possible quickly by uh, yat shravanam, yat shravanam, yat kirtanam. That means uh, about Krishna, shravanam kirtanam Vishnu, not uh, demigod kirtan, demigod uh, seva, like Krishna kirtan, Krishna seva. Uh, but to Gopal says, there's so many small books with prayers of various devotees, prayers of Queen Kunti, Prahlad Maharaj. Any particular reason why another small book on these prayers wasn't published by Srila Prabhupada? The, uh, the, 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 more can be published. The, um, it's just up to the BBT what to, what to do. Prabhupada, of course, gave a series of talks on Queen Kunti, so that became one book. He gave a series of talks on Prahlad Maharaj that became a small booklet. Um, thinking what other, as far as prayers go, did he? Yeah, of course, Kapila Dev became another book, not particularly prayers. But if someone has in mind uh, some series of lectures where Prabhupada spoke on it, that can be a book. Or it doesn't have to be a Prabhupada book. Other devotees can write on prayers as we were hearing from Prabhupada's lecture, prayers by Arjun. That's a whole book right there. Prayers by Akrura. There's another book. There's so many. Some prayers by Lord Brahma, prayers by Lord Indra, uh, prayers by Mujukunda. There's throughout, there's always prayers. Mukunda Mala prayers, yes, that's that's published. Prayers by Queen by King Kula, uh, Kula Shekhar. Thank you, Venkatesh. So this big item in devotional service, as it turns out, we hear about hearing and chanting, but now we find that Vandanam uh, praying, when we stop to think about it, is a, a big item. Uh, it's a big item. And in nectar devotion, there's two kinds of prayers. There's prayers we offer ourselves from our own feelings and thoughts in our heart. And then there's recitation of prayers that have been offered by great devotees. So in that second category, Mukundamala Stotra and so many. And here are the prayers by Shukadeva Goswami, very significant prayers and prayers that significant, instructive, purifying to hear, inspiring, and very relevant to our, our mission. So yat kirtanam, yat smaranam, yat ikshanam, yat vandanam, yat shravasam, yat arhanam, lokasya sadyo virunoti kalmasam. These purify the heart of sinful reactions so that we can be restored to our natural, healthy, pure condition. Tasma, uh, tasmai supadra shavase namo namaha. This last line will come up in several of the several verses following uh, following this one. Uh, tasmai means unto him. Uh, supadra shavase, uh, who's uh, hearing about whom is all auspicious. Subhadra means very auspicious and uh, shravase, uh, the hearing, shravanam, hearing about Krishna is so auspicious that Sukadeva Goswami says again and again, I offer my obeisances to that personality of Godhead, uh, hearing about whom is so auspicious. Uh, let's look at Srila Prabhupada's, well, first his translation. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the all auspicious Lord Sri Krishna, Subhadra, about whom glorification, remembrances, audience, 
prayers, hearing, and worship can at once cleanse the effects of all sins of the performer. Prabhupada comments, the sublime form of religious performances to free oneself from all reactions of sins is suggested herein by the greatest authority, Sri Sukadeva Goswami. Kirtanam, or glorifying the Lord, can be performed in very many ways, such as remembering, visiting temples to see the deity, offering prayers in front of the Lord, and hearing recitations of glorification of the Lord as mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam or the Bhagavad Gita. So Prabhupada counts all of these things uh, together. We should check that in there. Remind, uh, remind me. Remind me. Uh, they're all included. Kirtanam can be performed by, both by singing the glories of the Lord in accompani accompaniment with melodious music and by recitation of scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita. So just to, to chant the verses of Srimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita, that's also Kirtanam. And to explain the, the message of Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, that's also Kirtanam. The two kinds of Kirtan Prabhupada mentions, uh, Kirtan by Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, or about Krishna, Srimad Bhagavatam. So that, and, and they're both purifying, Virunoti, and they're both, uh, and then, so that's one side, Bhagavad Kata, Krishna Kata, Bhagavad Gita Kata, and on the other side, uh, Harer Nama, Harer Nama, Harer Nama, okay. melodious chanting. And note, melodious, by the way, <laughs> Prabhupada talked about that, and um, criticized what he called clanging and banging. The, um, he was with Tejas Prabhu, our, who at the time was temple president of New Delhi. And there was a kirtan going on. Prabhupada said, how did you like the kirtan? And Tejas is a smart fellow. He knew that there was a, you know, an issue coming up. So he didn't want to be on one side or the other. He, he sort of non-committally said, it was all right. And Prabhupada said, no, it was not nice. He said it was clanging and banging. He said, kirtan should be sweet and melodious. Um, sweet and melodious. So melodious kirtan, uh, which doesn't mean it has to be sedate that it has to be uh, very quiet and, and meditative. There can be enthusiasm, there can be, but it should be sweet. And in any case, the glorification of the Lord uh, by hearing and speaking from Shastra or by chanting his holy name will quickly purify the heart. The devotees need not be disappointed in the physical absence of the Lord, though they may think of not being associated with him. The devotional process of chanting, hearing, remembering, etc., either all or some of them, or even one, can give us the desired result of associating with the Lord by discharging the transcendental loving service of the Lord in the above manner. The very um, simple but deep message that although Krishna is absent, although we're separated from the Lord, the, these methods of chanting, hearing, remembering are so powerful that they can invoke the presence of the Lord they can invoke the presence of the Lord. And when the Lord is present, what is the difficulty? Even the very sound of the holy name of Lord Krishna or Ram can at once surcharge the atmosphere spiritually. 
Prabhupada had the opportunity, this is like 1968, he wanted to have some presence at the United Nations. He asked Purushottam, who was stationed in New York, New York at the time, Purushottam Brahmachari, to try to get us a place at the United Nations. So Purushottam was able to do it. It would cost some money, but we could have like a, a room, a, a place there, but no facility for Kirtan. So then Prabhupada basically dismissed it. What is the use? If we can't have Kirtan, what, what is the use? We're not just for, well, for anything else. No, we are meant for explaining and for talking, but Kirtan is so important for our, so crucial to, as, to, our, to our process. So Prabhupada, no, he gave up the idea. If we can't have kirtan, then no. We should, we must know definitely that the Lord is present wherever such pure transcendental service is performed. And thus the performer of offenseless kirtanam has positive association with the Lord. Similarly, remembrance and prayers also can give us the desired result if they are properly done under expert guidance. The, that's one thing, expert guidance, things should not be concocted. Not that we make up our own kirtan or we make up our own method of speaking about the Lord or remembering the Lord, but when we're guided by Krishna, uh, guided by the representative of Krishna, uh, then we can properly uh, glorify the Lord, uh, remember the Lord, uh, hear about the Lord, and feel the presence of Krishna, uh, invoke the presence of Krishna, whose presence in his glorification. One should not concoct forms of devotional service. Well, one could have a, a, a two-year seminar on this, this very topic. One should not concoct forms of devotional service. How many letters Prabhupada wrote, how many incidents in Prabhupada's life, how many things he said in conversations or in lectures are dedicated to this point in one way or another. One should not concoct methods of devotional, uh, forms of devotional service. Sakale neha mahata yoga nashta parantapa. By concocting forms of devotional service, everything is lost. So Prabhupada said, simple thing, just follow. So that we have to do. The mind is infinitely inventive, especially the Western mind. Prabhupada said that's your Western disease, always changing. So we want something new, something different, something more powerful, something quicker, something more dramatic, something more interesting, something just new, you know, not the same old thing again and again, something new, something attractive, something... Um, whatever, and the tendency is there to make up something. There was a, I'm reminded by bringing it up that back in the late 60s, early 70s, there was a preaching program Appears that Maharaj's uh, connection is stalled. Hmm. 
just give him a few more minutes. I think it, you know, sometimes the connection might stall. My apologies, I didn't realize my laptop was running out of power, which it suddenly did. Um, so I'm on my phone, we'll get the laptop up and running again also. The, so I, I was reminded of, of a, an incident back in the late 60s or 1970s. Am I good here, Madan Gopal Prabhu? Okay. Maj, you can hear me, thank you. The 1960s, early 70s, our uh, Tirtananda Swami had organized what they called a road show with Vishnu Jan Maharaj and a whole batch of uh, devotees that was going around to mainly college campuses. And they had uh, quite a, a, a presentation. They had deities with them, if I recall. Sri Lavati Mataji was, was on, on the program. And the the central attractive feature was what they called a um was it called a rock opera something like that um anyway it was like a, a dramatic story about someone who who's sort of a, a a young person like the people that we would be uh, reaching and they uh, come in touch with devotees and become Krishna conscious, and the uh, and it had songs that were um, in English that were composed to to tell the story, and it was quite the quite the production. And let's see. Okay, so So if you can unmute my computer, um, that would be great on a good one. Uh, I've unmuted it, Maharaj. Uh, I think we have both connections on right now. You can just turn that off. Probably causing the double echo. Yeah, we're, we're turning off my phone. Okay, so we're we're back in business here, and I was just about to before. Oh, to start my video. Yes, thank you. Um, Yes. Let's see if I find very quickly the letter that I'm thinking of. Yes, here it is. The So it was going on and seemed to be quite successful and attractive, but then Srila Prabhupada stopped it. This is a letter 1972, November, to Sudama. Please accept my blessings. I beg to acknowledge receipt of your letter dated such and such, and I have noted the contents carefully. So far, the roadshow and this yoga village are concerned. These things should be stopped. Simply perform our kirtan. If we divert our attention in this way, the whole thing will gradually deteriorate. He is going far away. I'm not sure who he is, but he is going far away. All these things are nonsense inventions. Such inventing spirit will ruin our this movement. People may come to see, some will become devotees, but such devotees will not stay because they are attracted by some show. 
and not by the real thing or spiritual life according to the standard of Lord Chaitanya. Our standard is to have kirtan, start temples. What is this road show and yoga village? It will be another hippie edition. Gradually the Krishna consciousness idea will evaporate. Another change, another change, every day another change. Stop all this. Simply have kirtan, nothing else. Don't manufacture ideas. Well, there's a strong, uh, what would you say, unpacking of this one line. One should not concoct forms of devotional service. One should not concoct forms of devotion. And it seemed like successful and, and uh, what would you say, inspiring and encouraging and so many things. And yet Srila Prabhupada said, another change, another change, stop all this, simply have kirtan. So this is a, um, an instruction to give pause at least to those of us who would like to innovate in different ways. Sometimes Srila Prabhupada approved something, what would you say, new or, or something um, innovative as being uh, Krishna's inspiration or what have you, but not going very far afield. And one, uh, as, as, as we said, he, Prabhupada says, he, whoever he is, is going far away. So that can happen, that we become innovative and inventive and uh, full of, of smart ideas and it has no potency and it, everything gradually deteriorates. That's the, the danger to watch out for. I can think of another example. This is from Los Angeles. This would be 1975, thereabout, 76 there was a television show called College Bowl in which students from two different colleges would have a competition. And in that competition, different, I forget exactly how it went, but there would be different facts that would be brought up or that needed to be brought up. So it was kind of like a game show. The, these college students would have to uh, have a command of whatever these facts were and then be quicker to press the button than their opponents. So that was the, the College Bowl um, television show. So in Los Angeles, the devotees came up with something called the Krishna Bowl, which was clever because, you know, B-O-L. So Krishna Bowl. And it was pretty much the same format, that there'd be some question like, um, What's the name of the person that that Krishna uh, that that um, that who, who had fire coming from from his eyes you know, when Krishna went into a cave? Boom! Press the button. Who's who's quickest? You know, or there'd be even more arcane than uh, facts than that. So uh, the devotees would get into it, and that was the the idea that devotees would. It was all about Krishna book. So devotees would really get into reading Krishna book and preparing for this competition. And, uh, and, and then there'd be, you know, this whole show. And it, there was another one where Prabhupada said, just stop this. What is this Krishna bowl? And I won't bother looking for the, for the letter, but it was the same idea that Prabhupada didn't approve, even though it, it appeared to be, uh, what's the word? Uh, in, in, in inspiring or or getting the devotees excited about about the philosophy, Prabhupada just have kirtan. This is our. You won't go wrong with that. You won't be going far away if you're sticking to kirtan, uh, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita Kata, 
Prabhupada said one time that our son, uh, he, he was doing himself these Bhagavad Dharma discourses. He said, all our sannyasis should do this, travel around and speak this um, Bhagavad Gita. So kirtanam, uh, Krishna kirtan, and do not concoct forms of devotional service. I've said in deity worship, Prabhupada was so strong about this. And there are people who can tell you stories about so many things concocted in the deity worship, in the dressing, in the uh, Shringar, in the um, different methods for worshiping the deity. And Prabhupada was very much on guard against that, uh, inventing something in the deity worship. Uh, inventing in the deity worship, inventing in the kirtan, inventing in this way, inventing in that way, uh, this inventive uh, tendency. So just have kirtan. And kirtan is the most powerful thing. What is that? He said that it's the uh, only shelter, the safest shelter in this material world. I think that's there in the introduction to the songbook, uh, Chutanand Prabhu's songbook. The safe, probably called it the safest place in the in, in the world, Kirtan. If you're chanting Hare Krishna, you can't go wrong, really. You know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. If you're distributing books, if you're chanting Hare Krishna, uh, if you're speaking Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, repeating what you've heard from the authorities, that will be powerful. Other things may or may not be ultimately helpful. Uh, or those other things may be a diversion of our attention. They may be a, a distraction. So um, one has to be guided. Like Prabhupada started a hotel in Juhu. So then one may say, well, that's not Kirtan, that's a hotel. But that was approved or, or recommended by the Acharya, it fit into a larger scheme. The life membership program fit into a larger scheme for bringing people to Krishna consciousness. So you don't want to slam the door on anything, uh, on everything and say, well, you know, if it's not Kartal's Murdanga and, uh, and, and having Kirtan, then it's rejected. You don't want to be, jump off that side of the ship into the ocean. And you also don't want to jump off the other side where, well, probably time, place, and circumstance is like the door that opens the possibilities for anything, everything, and more beyond that. So one has to be thoughtful, sober, and above all, uh, guided by the spiritual master. Uh, remembrance and prayers can give us the desired result if they are properly done under expert guidance. Philosophy can be concocted. We see uh, that going on. Uh, you know, you can be initiated by one of the, you know, by, by Prabhupada or, or Rupa Goswami. Again, inventing a form of devotional service. There's so many things invented. So many things invented, big and small. One should not concoct forms of devotional service. If somebody would like to write a book, uh, this is a good book for you. It can be 300 pages. Volume one can be 350 pages. One should not concoct forms of devotional service. One may worship the form of the Lord in the temple, or one may impersonally offer the Lord devotional prayers in a mosque or church. Well, that's significant, actually. Uh, we can speak about that briefly. The, in the temple, the, the form of the Lord is there. In the Parsippany temple that we're seeing behind Madan Gopal, the form of Krishna will be there. In all the Krishna temples, the, the form is there. And when you go to the church or the mosque, generally there's, there's no form. If you go to a, a Jewish temple, there's no form. I visited the Blue Mosque, yes in Istanbul, and it's a very powerful building. It's, um, it's large, it's, it's lofty, it's 
beautiful, intricate decoration. And you feel like you're in the presence of a greater power. It's almost electrical or, you know, it invokes that sense of being in a, in a, a in the presence of a, a greater being, being in the presence of the Supreme Lord. It's a very powerful building. But there, you, what, what a devotee will notice right away is that there's no deity. There's, as Prabhupada said, uh, one impersonally offers uh, prayers and or yes, devotional prayers in a mosque. It, there's a sense that there, there's God, that God is, is, is our father. But there's, when Prabhupada says personal, he really means personal. He means form, quality, name, activities, everything. Otherwise, personal, but what exactly is that person? Uh, just like Prabhupada mentioned Rabindranath Tagore, he wrote some uh, devotional uh, something composition. Uh, he's saying to me in Bengali, to me means uh, you. But Prabhupada said, who is that to me? You know, it's not specified. So that that's sort of a, a background to this comment that one can uh, worship the form of the Lord in the temple, very explicit form, or in as they do in mosques and churches, a, a less uh, personal present, less explicit. Although in churches also, they take Jesus Christ to be non-different from God. So then the, the form of Jesus is there, or even the form of saints are worshiped in in different temples. Some denominations are much more particular, or much more inclined to have icons, which means forms. And some are very uh, almost, uh, I don't want to say militant, but strict that we don't want to have any forms here because that's idol worship. But uh, so, okay, I said enough about that. One is sure to get free from the reactions of sins, provided one is very careful about not committing sins willingly in expectation of getting free from the right reactions of sins by worshiping in the temple or by offering prayers in the church. This mentality of committing sins willfully on the strength of devotional service is called Namno balad yas yehi papa buddhi. And it's the greatest offense in the discharge of devotional service. Hearing, therefore, is essential in order to keep oneself strictly on guard against such pitfalls of sins. How do we avoid committing sins on the strength of chanting? By hearing about this as, as a pitfall not to fall into. And in order to give special stress in the hearing process, the Goswami invokes all auspicious fortune in this matter. Tasmai subhadra shavase namo namaha. Well, I want to leave a little time for questions. So uh, I, when I came back, the chat box was not re enabled. So, oh my goodness, uh, look what I've missed. Ah, thank you, Vegavati, about this Krishna bowl. Prabhupada said, uh, where there is winning, there is gambling. You know, it's that excitement of... And where there's winning, there is gambling. Thank you. Panchatattva. Ah, this is from the Songs of the Vaishnavacharyas, Prabhupada's forward. I confer all my blessings upon Achyutananda Swami for his genuine attempt to advance in Krishna consciousness. I hope he will thus advance more and more and never be hampered by Maya. We should always remember the dangers of Maya's influence and endeavor to save ourselves from her great power. We must therefore always 
merge in the transcendental mellow of kirtan ras. For this kirtan ras is the safest situation within this material world. Hare Krishna. Yes. Our um, Achyutananda Prabhu really um, introduced these bhajans into our Krishna consciousness movement. We had them, Prabhupada also chanted, but when Achyutananda uh, contributed that songs of the Vaishnava Acharyas and also made a tape recording of, of the songs, that's when devotees really started taking it up as something they could do, not only listen to Prabhupada doing, but they could do also. So it was a, a significant contribution and Srila Prabhupada appreciated it. This is going to be from Yes, from Gurdas, this seems to be from probably Lamrita. I'm, I guess if I scroll down, I'll see that that's where it's from. Yeah, in 1974, at Iskand Dallas Gurukul, one of the teachers introduced a new learning contest for the children. He called it Krishna Bowl, modeled after a television program. Uh, I'm skipping the description of the program, which I've described. The competing Gurukul students would sit at desks facing the assembly of children and teachers, and a tense competition ensued. The questions tended to be extremely intricate, and the first student who knew the answer had to press an electric buzzer. Whoever buzzed first got to answer. The games caused great excitement among the children and sometimes caused tears and tantrums from the losers of the game. Some of the adult devotees in Dallas wondered if maybe the whole Krishna bowl was just so much mental speculation. One of the teachers in favor of the game wrote to Prabhupada for approval. Prabhupada replied as follows. I beg to acknowledge receipt of your letter regarding the Krishna bowl game and it should be stopped immediately. This thing will be a taxation on the brain of the young children. Why are you inventing? Why are you not satisfied? You are all only inventing and spoiling money. You teach the children perfectly, Sanskrit and English, instead of spoiling time and money. The children cannot pronounce correctly the Sanskrit, but then read it correctly. That is wanted first. They must pronounce nicely Sanskrit and English. The English is no difficulty. If you can do this, then your education is all right. Another letter from Srila Prabhupada soon followed, sent to one of the GBC representatives I received one letter from Gurukul regarding the Krishna Bowl contest, and I want you to know that nothing new should be added. Whatever I've introduced should remain. Nothing new. How strongly Prabhupada made this point again and again and again. Nothing new, nothing new, nothing new. Whatever I have introduced should remain. Nothing new. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to skip Vijay Krishna's question just because of lack of time, I think. Um, you can hold it, park it for the next uh, next session, and uh, you know can answer. But I, let's stay on this point, which Yadunath and Ekabhakti, Ekanta Bhakti, are uh, bringing up. It's an interesting point that Prabhupada makes about not making changes and being innovative. I can appreciate where he was coming from, and why he would say that. At the same time, 
there have many there have been many out of the box ideas out of the box ideas beyond the box as they uh, say these days out of the box that have been very successful and made some top top notch devotees so who are still around and he himself seemed to try many innovative things do you think it's because his ideas were based on the basic elements you discussed? I'm also thinking about the political party, which of course he stopped, but wasn't that just because we'd lose our not-for-profit status? Yeah, the political party was stopped because it became um, overcomplicated. You, you'd have to, the, the ISKCON would lose its nonprofit status to start another organization would be again problematic. And then to really get into it and collect money for a political race and, and then there's essentially dirty politics, the whole atmosphere is, is filthy. So proud, but you know, once he wanted a simple preaching platform, you know, we can speak something about politics, we can run for office and in that way have a, a platform for speaking. Uh, the message of Krishna. When it started to become overcomplicated, forget it. So then he dumped it. Uh, so that's that particular point. But your larger point is, well, we see that there are things that are out of the box that are innovative, and yet they seem to have succeeded. They've made some first class devotees and were still around. And Prabhupada himself tried some innovative things. So uh, yes, that's why I, I mentioned that you don't want to jump off the, the port side of the boat and you don't want to jump off the starboard side. You don't want to be so rigid that you can't do anything. And on the same side, on the by the same token, you don't want to be uh, in that, you don't, you don't want to in, invent and concoct things that will deviate us from our main purpose and be essentially disapproved uh, by the Acharya or that would be disapproved by the Acharya. So it requires discretion. It requires mature understanding. And one might best be and it requires especially adherence to the core substance of our movement. If we depart from the substance and it becomes uh, attractive and uh, appreciated by the whole world, but it's hollow, then what will be the use? We have to give the substance that's crucial. And the main substance of the Hare Krishna movement is the chanting of Hare Krishna. Uh, I have, I've objected to various programs at various times on the grounds that they're, they're leading us to something else, to, be, to becoming philanthropists, to becoming um, you know, whatever it may be, uh, at the expense of the real substance. What did Prabhupada most enthusiastically endorse? Uh, chanting of the holy name, distribution of his books. That, you know, Prabhupada, I'm, I'm just staying alive by the, these uh, reports of the book distribution. And that turns out to be super excellently effective also. Uh, the where there's distribution of our literature and there's chanting of Hare Krishna, lo and behold, people become attracted. Lo and behold, people become devotees. Lo and behold, the Krishna consciousness movement spreads and becomes very strongly situated. It really lives on Shravanam Kirtana. Other things may, may work, other things may attract, other things may... Uh, be good or not so good, but the the Shravanam Kirtanam is our life and soul. Chanting of the holy name of Krishna and distribution of transcendental literature. 
uh, Samarpan Gopi, uh, Gopa says, can you please tell us about Krishna West in the context of discussion? No, I won't say anything about Krishna West in the context of discussion. Uh, the, I'm speaking about general principles or what Prabhupada taught, and I leave it to you to use your good intelligence to apply Prabhupada's instructions to Krishna West, Krishna East, Krishna uh, North by Northwest, or any other Krishna uh, presentation. And I'm not the, yes, so I leave it to you to use your good intelligence. Dukahantri says, may we please continue, finish, uh, continue slash finish our discussion of these topics in our next meeting. I doubt that we can finish because the, the realm of inventiveness is endless, but we could continue if you'd like. So especially if you remind me, Mataji, then I'm, uh, I'm happy to, to uh, talk about it. And just notice how this one line, how this one line in Prabhupada's purport is like a book. There's so much there. You know, once you just open up that one line and start poking around, what else is there? It's huge. There's so much. All right. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj. It is one of those uh, topics that is endless. And it's good to discuss them, I think. it's uh, Everyone is enjoying it. It's very engaging. And, and it's very applicable because, you know, it's, it's really a discussion of our pitfalls that we tend to, uh, the mistakes we tend to make, and some of the things we tend to have missed when we're reading Srila Prabhupada's books or his letters and so on. So it's nice to discuss these and get reminded of the importance. So thank you again for bringing them up. Um, and we can take them home and reflect and uh, adjust our programs to uh, realign with Srila Prabhupada and what he wanted. So thank you very much. And I think it'll be nice to continue it the next time on Wednesday. So just the uh, standard announcements. Uh, Maharaj's class on the Vana Presta Adventure on Thursdays is available. The link is available on Maharaj's website, jswami.info, on the About section. So please take a look at that if you're interested. I think you'll like it. You'd like to attend. Uh, Thursday, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And then the Pathways to Perfection series continues every Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time on the Bhakti Center channel, tinyurl.com slash Bhakti Center. So the next one up is October 17th, Archanam by Goranga Prabhu of Chapati. And then the following week will be Ambarendra Prabhu and then Archana Siddhi Mataji and so on. And of course, Bhakti Rasamrita Swami Maharaj. And the concluding uh, class will be given by His Holiness Sachinanda Swami Maharaj. So, Please uh, do try to make it a point to attend these. It's very popular, lots of attendees from all over the world. And then on this channel, we have on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, the uh, second canto continuation with His Holiness Jayadwaita Swami Maharaj. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we have uh, a special topic called The Austerity of Speech by Vrindavan Vinodini Devi Dasi. Mm -hmm. yeah. She'll be speaking for the first time on our channel. On Thursday, we have His Grace Dayananda Prabhu. Dayananda Prabhu is uh, one of the early disciples Srila Prabhupada from New York. So he'll be speaking on Srila Prabhupada Leela and some memories. And then a special uh, Saturday morning session at 11.30 on this channel uh, with His Holiness Satsarup Das Goswami Maharaj. He'll be reading some poetry from his uh, new uh, uh, poetry collection called Soul Eyes. So please uh, join for that. And then on Sunday, we have His Grace Shesha Prabhu. Uh, Shesha Prabhu is uh, one of our leaders of our movement, the GBC members, and also the Minister of, of Justice and Education. And he's in charge of a lot of important areas. So it would be wonderful to hear from him on Sunday. So please uh, make it a note to join. And thank you all very much for joining this evening. It is uh, 9.02. And uh, those, who, those of you who had questions or comments we couldn't get to you, please uh, make a note of them, and we'll continue those on Wednesday when we reconvene. So at this time, you may choose to unmute yourself and we'll leave it open for a few more seconds to wish Maharaj <coughs> good night. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Dandavat Pranam Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare
Hare Krishna, thank you. Hare Ba. Hare Krishna. Die. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol Maharaj, thank you so much. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Radhe Radhe Maharaj, Hare Bol. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada, 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 Shri Prabhupada,